All right, guys. I saw this come across my news feed and thought it was very interesting for a multitude of reasons. And then I see a video that I'd like to show you guys and uh, get your opinions on it. Because, I mean, whenever you rediscover something, it's awesome. I mean, you got, you got to think. There's We think we know when something is gone and when it's not. And that's why uh, whenever... You, you think about, like, say, animals that are declared extinct that people think are still alive. Like, as a great example, the thylacine, which will come up in this video. Um, you, you, you start to look at it and go, huh. I mean, maybe the thing that we thought was extinct, like, people th think mammoths and megalodons are still alive. Um, not as much the mammoths. The megalodons and, you know, there are just some things that shouldn't... That, that, that really just can't. And then there are things that you you just didn't think about. I had never heard of this animal. Um, the uh, Victoria Grassland Earless Dragon. So it's basically, it looks like an agama. Um, it's just, you know, a, a, I, I'm assuming related to bearded dragons just because of the name. But I, I, I'm not too sure. Um, following a confirmed sighting in 1969, the Victorian Grassland's earless dragon was the only known from drawings and museum collections until rediscovery. Adapted from public domain image by John James Wilde. Okay. So Australian lizard species rediscovered following extinction fears. A rare lizard has been rediscovered 50 years after it was last seen. Had it become extinct, the Victorian earless gra uh, uh, grassland earless dragon would have been the first known reptile from mainland Australia to have been lost. Its rediscovery gives a second chance to help it avoid this fate. It's not a myth. The earless dragon is very much alive. Having not been seen since 1969, there were concerns that the Victorian grass uh, grassland earless dragon was extinct. Expansion of Melbourne, the state uh, capital of Victoria, as well as the spread of invasive predators like fox and cats, were thought to have wiped the species out. However, re uh, renewed re uh, searches of its former habitat have revealed that the dragon is still alive and well. While its exact location is being kept secret, efforts are already underway to work out uh, how best to help the reptile recover. Ingrid Stitt the state of Victoria's Minister for the Environment says this is an amazing discovery and offers an opportunity for us to recover a species that is lost to our state and to the world. With the help of our partners, we will continue to fight the extinction of this critically endangered species, uh, ensuring future generations can see and learn from this incredibly unique lizard. One of the best moments in my career, rediscovering the Victoria Earless Monitor in 2019, I undertook the taxonomic research to show this lizard was a unique species, different to those in the um, ACT and NSW. So, please, that it is not extinct. And there's a little picture. It's adorable little lizard. Um, and, I mean, before I go any farther, the fact that they were able to find this lizard again is incredible. If it hadn't been seen since that long, um, that is a really cool thing. I mean, I, I will not discount that at all. What I find funny is um, is what I'm about to show you, this video. Now, this is how I first found out about this incident or this, this thing. Um, and we're going to watch this real quick. And let me know what you think about um, the situation. A mysterious lizard missing for half a century has been found alive in Victoria. Specialists say it's up there with finding a live Tasmanian tiger. Now the mission. That right there, just right off the bat. They say it's like finding a live Tasmanian tiger to bring them back from the brink of extinction. He's small in stature, but this elusive little reptile is a very big deal to experts. This is probably the most endangered reptile in the world. I think it's probably the pinnacle of our, our conservation careers. It's the Victorian grassland earless dragon. Hasn't been seen since 1969 and was feared extinct. They're a really cryptic and shy animal. 
um, and, and you know, the important part of mine was to try to get their numbers up. The breakthrough came in February at a top secret location in grassland to Melbourne's west. It was incredibly exciting to find a species we've been looking for for a decade. Now conservationists have found 16 and the search will continue for more. We'll be seeing sniffer dogs actually helping us find the, the, the dragons because they actually live in holes that spiders have made. The dragons weigh in at just over 7 grams, around 15 centimetres in length. We have invested um, just under $100,000 to help with the preservation of this little creature. I think you'd probably compare it to, um, say, rediscovering the thylacine or the Tasmanian tiger. It's, it's that significant. Ellie Wicks, 7 News. So... Going over that, um, I don't want to take away from what these people are doing because what they are doing is fantastic. The fact that they found this lizard and not only found this lizard, found where it was living. Uh, that Really, really cool, important stuff and definitely probably the pinnacle of their careers. It is not like finding a Tasmanian tiger. I am sorry. First off, Tasmanian tigers, you can debate all you want. Supposedly, he's been extinct since, what, 1936? It's a little bit longer than 1969. Second off, unless you, like, specifically are into this animal, no one has heard of it. No one has heard of it. My dad has heard of Tasmanian tigers. Most of the people that I know have heard of Tasmanian tigers in some way, shape, or form, or at least seen a picture. If I said, hey, did you know they rediscovered the grassland earless dragon in Australia, people would be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's not that it's a, an insignificant discovery. It just doesn't have the same name appeal. I never heard about this. Like, this is not the same thing. This is not. This has not made global news. If the Tasmanian tiger was rediscovered, it would be front page news of every single major news organization, not just an Australian or a UK newspaper. I'm sorry. Um, a very cool situation. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy that they found this. Like many native Australian species, the Victorian grassland earless dragon hasn't, fa uh, hasn't fared well with the changes to Australia's ecosystem in the past few hundred years. Some of the most major changes have come because of the introduction of invasive species. Cats, for instance, were introduced as pets by European settlers in the late 1700s. Cats are evil. Uh, given rise to large feral populations that consume around 240 million native Australian animals every year. Yeah, Australians are the... Are, not Australians. Australians are awesome. Um, cats are the bane of most animals' existence. Despite living in spire burrows and having rows of spiky scales along its body, the dragon has not been safe from these predators, which were which have driven its population down. At the same time, Australia has become increasingly urban. The growth of cities such as Melbourne means Melbourne, whatever, means that one percent of the grasslands that the dragons used to call home remains, uh, with those sites in areas that are likely to be developed in the coming years. Despite these pressures, however, concern over the fate of the species wasn't perhaps as high as it should be. Uh, this is because the species was conflated with two close, closely related, uh, close relatives that lived elsewhere. So its population wasn't thought to have been as perilously low as it actually was. In 2019, a study revealed that the Victorian grassland earless dragon was a species of its own right. More formally known as, but I'm not reading that. With surveys at the sites of unconfirmed sightings in 1988 and 1990 having drawn blanks, it highlighted the need for urgent work to be better understand these species, reptiles. Okay. It was thought to have been a completely separate species until very recently. Or it wasn't thought to be a completely separate species until very recently. 2019 revealed that it was its own species. Importantly, it is noted that the species was certainly at risk of extinction. Uh, it couldn't be declared extinct until all potential habitat has been checked. Uh, four years later, these surveys have finally resulted in a lizard's rediscovery. 
So Lee Beater's possum is one of the surprising number of Australian mammals to turn out to not be as extinct as feared. Yeah, because we think we know everything, but we don't. We don't know. We don't know anything, basically. That's the way it always turns out. Rediscovering an extinct Australian species isn't entirely unprecedented. Lee Beater's possum, a mammal found only in Victorian highlands, was rediscovered in the 1960s after being presumed lost in the early 20th century. However, the possum remains critically endangered despite over 60 years of efforts to bolster its population. It's hoped that by moving quickly, the Victorian grassland earless dragon will be able to avoid the same issues. The first step is to find out how many reptiles are left, with the government, uh, with Australian government investing just shy of $100,000 to train sniffer dogs to sneak them, seek them out. Uh, okay. And they hope to establish a captive breeding population. Uh, in this, the, two, uh, the dragon follows in the footsteps of two other Australian reptiles, the Christmas Island Blue-Tailed Skink and the Christmas Island Chained Gecko, both of which come from a territory which gives them their name. Their numbers have risen after being taken into captivity to prevent them from becoming the same way as the Christmas Island Whiptail Skink, which was wiped out by invasive species. Um, I thought there were no Australian reptiles that um, were extinct, that went extinct. I thought they, they said that in the top part of the... Oh, had it become extinct, the Victorian grassland earless dragon would have been the first known reptile from mainland Australia. Okay, gotcha. But, I mean, a very again, a very cool discovery. I'm glad that they found it. It is a very... Um, sad thing that all these animals are going extinct, but it's not like finding a thylacine. I'm sorry. Don't be so hyperbolic. Don't toot your own horn like that. It's not. No one's heard about this. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to give and take here. Like when I see this, um, if 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 you told me that you rediscovered a thylacine. I would be talking about it for days. I would make multiple videos and I would literally like, I would be like, I would probably get emotional. That's how awesome it would be. I see this and I'm like, that's really cool. No one's going to hear about this until a couple years from now when the way that they try to get these guys populations up, it's just like they did with the Crested Gecko. That's going to be in um, pet stores in the next 10 years. Or it should, I should say. If you put this in a pet store, because it looks adorable. I mean, it's probably not that big of a lizard. If it's a related to bearded dragons at all, which it kind of looks like it is. I mean, this thing is going to thrive in captivity. Um, no joke. This thing is going to do extremely well. They already captured it. I saw it in the videos, and they were feeding them crickets. Like, these guys are going to be great pets. And if you want to get these populations rebounded conservation through selling them you breed them you get a few of them out there you get a couple of breeders who like literally learn how to get them to breed in captivity you sell them to the highest bidders who are going to do the same thing and then in 10 to 20 years from now you're going to have morphs you're going to have there, there there's no way they're going to go extinct because they're going to be everywhere because people will want them as pets and that's how that works as much as you might not like that, if you can make a profit on it, that animal's not going to go away. And come on, you'd be like, this animal was declared or was thought to be extinct for years. And now you get to have one as a pet. It will never go extinct at that point. You think crusty geckos are going to go extinct anytime soon? They were rediscovered back in the 90s. And now look at them. Telling you, that's what you got to do. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about my take on this. If you think I'm wrong, please tell me if I'm wrong. If you think this is even better than finding a thylacine, please let me know as well. I'd really like to hear from you. I'll see you on the next one. Stay wild.